Hey everyone, it is Colton, Wasatch Back Explorer, whatever you want to call me. Um, I am back after a long time. Man, I think, yeah, the last time I uploaded a video was right before Christmas. Um, I've kind of been MIA for a couple reasons. Life just gets busy. Uh, not gonna lie, I lost some motivation with YouTube, but I think I've found, I think I've found more motivation and the kind of a different plan of what I want to do with my channel. So I am here in one of my favorite places on earth, um, the Uinta Mountains. And for those of you that are regular viewer, viewers will be like, oh my gosh, she's back in the Uinta, yada, yada, yada. Well, I don't know. There's just something about it. Just like a, a peaceful feeling. It feels like home every time I'm here. Just with the sun shining. And the the greenery. Just the way it looks. Springtime is my favorite. And this is one of my favorite springtime areas to come to. Um, you know. I, I relate it to my wife. She loves Disneyland. She loves Disney World. Anything Disney. She loves going there. You know. This is kind of like my Disney. Except it doesn't cost as much. And doesn't take as long to get there so yeah i'm gonna just be doing a day hike today i'm gonna be doing some fishing ah, with the amount of runoff and the luck past luck i've had here i don't know if i'm gonna have much luck fishing i'm not a great fisherman but my plan is is to hike up fish i have some lunch brought a hammock maybe start a fire just chill and then i might jump over to the other side of the river or just follow it down as it's coming down the canyon and uh see what i can find so i'm testing out some new gear today also and some new systems um i'm just going to be doing some other different uh, uh i don't know different things today so i'm gonna get ready i just gotta put on my fire armor my mac not it a little bit and my pack that's what i meant to say and there are like a ton of like bugs here. Like net. They're not flies, I don't know. I don't know if you can see them, but they're back there. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna get going. So let's hit the trail. see I'm on the trail um got kind of cloudy you know in the UN as it might rain but uh right now I am bushwhacking it's 11 o'clock like I said I'm gonna make some lunch possibly a fire uh, I'm gonna make some videos on my um setup I have here because I'm trying a bunch of stuff out so I'm just bushwhacking right now. There's like a couple horseback riders riding along the trail. I don't want to compete with them at all. Um, not that I'd be competing because I can't walk as fast as a horse can, that's for sure. But uh, I'm just exploring this area kind of off trail because I know there's some good um, fishing spots and I may come back like down this way or like next to the river so i've got no time limit nowhere to be well five o'clock i got somewhere to be but i'm just exploring having fun and doing what i love so yeah this is a really cool place you can kind of see it's really dark and dense not dark really thick and dense 
You know what? I can't speak English today, so it is really thick here. And, uh, yeah, some of these old aspens. Like, this area is so, like, beautiful to me and, like, serene. I, I love coming up here. This is my favorite area for springtime hiking. Yeah, definitely be my favorite area in general because it's just so peaceful. So I'm just going to keep going, enjoy the views, see if I can find some cool pictures or something like that. But yeah, we're going to keep on walking. Well, everyone, let me adjust the camera here. There we go. We made it. Well, to like the end of the like off-road trail that you technically hike up. I didn't this time. So um, you'll see just right behind me, there's the parking lot. And me and Hannah, my wife, we're gonna come up here last night, camp here, and I was gonna do basically what I'm doing right now. Um, but it didn't work out, there was some rain, so we opted not to come, and then I would just obviously I'm up here right now. So I just came up here to get a video to show her where it's at. Like there's, I found some other spots down the off the road that I'm not gonna share with you because I think they're pretty cool and I wanna keep them kind of secret. Nothing against you guys, you guys are great, but you know, you gotta come out here and find them yourself kind of like I am. Um, and I'm not saying like these are super secretive at all. I'm just saying that once you get off the beaten path, you find some cooler, cooler spots. And this is more for, uh, what you call it, like overlanding, truck camping right now. So just to keep her interested and i don't know we just like it i'm getting into it a little bit more and more so sorry one of my buckles came off i'm gonna so my plan is is probably i don't know i'm debating heading back that way following the river and there's a spot 
I'm gonna see how, it's usually pretty quiet as far as the river goes. So um, if it's not that rough and rapidy, I may try and fish there. And I knew full and well coming up here that the conditions for fishing may be bad because of just how much runoff and snowmelt we have here in Utah right now. So I just came up here to explore, like I said, try some things and uh, just have a good old time because why not, right? So I think we're gonna head back down. It's always cool up here in the spring when I don't really know what these are. They're like broadleaf something, I don't know. But they only come out when the ground's really swampy. And I hope over here, usually where I camp isn't too swampy. Holy cow. Maybe very swampy. Oh, sweet. It's a little brighter now. I'll make up its mind. Okay. This is usually where I camp. Um, uh, yeah, I'm probably gonna do some lunch. Set up my hammock, because I brought my hammock instead of my chair this time. And then uh, I tried, so if you go, so I'm still on the east side, but if you go to the right of me, which is kind of the west side of the river. Um, keep Justin in here. It is really wet, really wet, a little more than I thought. Um, because what happens is it gets really flat in this valley here. So instead of following the river, well, it does when it's not as high, um, but it just fans out across the whole valley. And so the river is just, you know, 200, 300 yards, but you can see there's a creek. This one is always kind of here, but it's not this full. So it's like, sprawling out so there it is wet over there and you can see from my some of my videos coming up here that that whole place is just a plain field of water so i may just have to hike back down the way i came which is unfortunate but it's all right but it's really cool up here yeah i want to bring hannah up here kind of show her some of the areas so yeah let's uh Yeah, let's get making some lunch or something. It's 12.33, so I probably gotta be out of here by like 2.30, so. It is lunch time. So I'm boiling some water. I thought about bringing up a steak and grilling it with some potatoes. Just, just why not? Opted out of that. Chicken Alfredo is on the meal on the menu today peak refuel a little more expensive but you can taste the difference so i'm just boiling water here i hope i have enough fuel i kind of didn't check my fuel so i'm gonna get it as warm as i can and it's almost boiling now so i think i'm good then i brought a cosmic brownie 
If you guys haven't hiked with Little Debbie products, game changer. They're better than Cliff Bars. They give you more fuel than, I don't know. They give you a lot of fuel. Got a Cosmic Brownie. I packed in a Capri Sun because I had some in my cooler in my truck, so I thought, why not? Uh, yeah, got the handy dandy spoon. So, yeah, but I'm just listening to music and only seen one person. Well, okay, I've actually seen three, four people. They didn't see me, only one person seen me so far. So it's actually pretty quiet and uh, yeah, good time. Water's boiling, so let's uh, get lunch cooking. It's 1.30, a little late lunch, but that's all right, it's all right. Up my classes. Yeah, we're just gonna sit in the hammock. I forgot how comfortable hammocks are because I don't really pack it anywhere. But I saw it in my gear and I thought I was I had my chair packed and I was like, why would I take my chair when it weighs more, not as comfortable, and I haven't taken this out <sighs> years. I kind of go in phases, but now I realize what a terrible, terrible mistake I've made. All right, we're gonna let that sit. Okay, mm. everyone. <sighs> Left my lunch spot. And uh, scouted around some of the fishing spots that there are up here or that I have been there's just too much runoff y'all may be thinking every time you go out you can't go fishing or you don't go fishing well I tried this time I have my stuff I really wanted to fish <laughs> try and get better at the fly rod but the whole place is just kind of rapidy and <sighs> all of the spots Here's the thing, up here, it has to be like pretty good conditions to catch any fish. The times that I have seen people fish, I've never caught a fish up here. Um, whether or not there are fish, it's kind of up for debate. So my point is, is it's gotta be pretty good conditions. So I'm hiking back slowly. It is 2.30. Ooh, that lunch break made me tired. But uh, I'm gonna head back. I supposedly have a family thing at five, according to my wife. And I said I didn't have anything else planned. Guess that wasn't true. So by the time I hike out of here about an hour, and then uh, drive back. It's about my time. So I'm just gonna hike back. It's been good. Really enjoyed myself so far. I'm excited. I wanna come up here with Hannah. Enjoy some time up here. So. Maybe stay tuned next week, I'll be back up here. I highly doubt there's gonna be any less water, but sure could give it a shot.
Whew. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at the truck. Oh, Lord, Lord. Great hike. Um, wish I could stay longer. What do you do? It was good though. I. Uh, it's always like really nice to just. walk and exercise um yeah i think all too often in life we we're always rushing and go, heading somewhere and finding that time to be alone and to just like simply just walk um, it really does wonders for the soul. I mean, I just walked, I don't I can't, I've clocked this before, but I can't remember. I think it's like a mile and a half, two miles, one way. And the whole time I'm just thinking about life and, you know, the many things that I have going on, you know, as we all do. And just listening to some music quietly, it just, uh, just helps uh, clear out the mind a bit, you know, and then get you ready for the rest of the week or, you know, whatever you're doing. So anyways, it's a great hike. I'm going to head back. It is 3.20 right now. So I got to get on back and, uh, go to some family thing for Memorial Day. So with that being said, happy Memorial Day, everyone. Hope you all have a great one. Um, there's going to be more videos coming out. I'm trying to get better at it. But yeah, I'm going to be producing more. And I'll see you guys out on the trail.